In Fluent Forms, one of the things you need to be able to do is set a reply to address when you're sending out a form notification. Now, it took me a few minutes the other day to figure out how to do this, and I thought, well, maybe this would be a good video to create because somebody else might be looking for how to do this as well, and it's really not that obvious. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Schramm. The channel here is Funnel Talk, and I teach you how to build high-converting sales funnels using WordPress. And um, Fluent Forms is one of those things that I've been talking about often because it's an app that's very, very helpful. You need to be able to collect f form information on your website uh, for many reasons, but one of those reasons is to make sure that your sales funnels is successful as well. Now, in today's case, a, a good example may be something like a contact form or a warranty form. Um, this is more on the customer service side of things where say after you submit a form, the customer should get a notification right away that um, lets them know that the form was submitted. You can definitely set that kind of thing up in Fluent Forms Pro, but I also think it's important that the customer be able to reply to that email just in case. Now, maybe they shouldn't reply to it, but uh, if they do, you don't want that to get lost because everything is marketing, including customer service, and you don't want anything to fall through the cracks if you can help it. So there are two ways to do this in Fluent Forms Pro. One way, which we're not going to discuss today, is to set up Fluent SMTP. Now, SMTP, if you don't know, stands for Secure Mail Transfer Protocol. And what you need to do on your WordPress website is install an SMT plugin to ensure high email deliverability. Now, setting that up goes beyond the scope of this particular um video, but I will link you to a video in the description below by uh, a gentleman named Adam who teaches a very nice little video on how to get this set up for you. And the way that you would get to that is under your Fluent Forms Pro settings by going to SMTP, and then you can say view Fluent SMTP settings, and then you just go to Fluent SMTP from there, which is right here, and that sets uh, you up. You can choose what you need to in order to get set up with Fluent SMTP, which is a great SMTP plugin, and it's totally free, and they actually have a commitment to making it free forever. So if you don't have that set up, go ahead and set that up, and when you do in your settings, you can actually choose a reply to address there to apply across the board. Now back to Fluent Forms Pro though, we can actually set a reply to address inside of our specific um, form if we'd like to. And we can do that whether or not Fluent SMTP is on the site. So here's how we do that. We create a new form by clicking here. And we're gonna say just a contact form. We'll keep it pretty basic. And that will create our contact form for us. Now, uh, of course, we could go here and customize the form however we would like to, but when we're ready to set up our notifications for this form, we go to Settings and Integrations and Email Notifications. Now, once we're here, here are some basic email notifications that have been set up by default. None of them are turned on. They're disabled by default, okay? What we may want to do is look at this one that says email to customer. So we click here, this little gear icon, in order to go into the settings. And we find out that this particular email is uh, set up as a payment receipt by default, okay? Whether or not we want to use it like that, that's not important. The idea here is this is an email to the customer. So the send to field is going to be populated by selecting a field from the form and it's going to be the email field. So that's how we know it's going to use the customer's email. Now let's say that we want to be able to change some things about how they react to this email or what this email looks like when they get it. The things I'm thinking of here are like the reply to address and maybe even the from name. How do we say that it's from uh, a particular website? Because otherwise it's going to default to WordPress at whatever your website is org. And then the sender is going to show up as WordPress and that can be uh, a bad uh, user experience. So if we just scroll down, we see there is an advanced bar here. And if we just click on advanced, it expands those settings.
So now we have the settings that we need. So we could say that this email is coming from Funnel Talk. So that's a name that would be recognized rather than just WordPress. Okay. And then in the reply to, I could make it reply to, let's say, my business email address, steve at northnextservices.com. That way, I know that when they send a reply, it's going to come to a mailbox that is active, and I will be able to go ahead and respond to their message if it requires a response, securing the customer service aspect of it and making sure that there's a great experience going on for everybody involved. So that's it. There's really no more to it than that. That is how you add the reply to address and even the from name in Fluent Forums Pro. Um, if you are interested in checking out Fluent Forums, I have lots of other videos on it and I am just excited about the development pace and the speed that these guys are doing great work and I think it's a wonderful product and a wonderful product ecosystem for you to buy into. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you would be interested in checking out Fluent Forms Pro um, and using my affiliate link to purchase that helps keep the channel information here free and helps support what we do. I certainly would appreciate that and we will uh, see you guys in the next video.